In this video, we are going to fetch all expenses that we have created. All right, so before that, let's check the API, whether it's working or not. So make sure that your server is working. So inside the expenses postman here, let's click on fetch all and we have provided a page. So now a page number. Now we know that our API is working and the endpoint is this. All right, cool. So let's quickly go ahead and then first of all, render a component. So when you click on expenses list, you want to display that component. So quickly, let's do that. All right, so let me close this ones. I don't need it for now. And this ones. And again, let's go to client. As I will see, and the template has been already provided. So let's go to template and expenses list, this component. So copy that and then let's go to pages and expenses and here, let's paste that. So to be able to see how the, the, the template is, let's go ahead and render the component. So let's go to app and then let's require the expenses list component. There we go. So I have the auto import and it's sitting here. So first of all, let's copy one of these routes and then let's paste it here and change this one to expenses. And the route, the component is expenses list component. And since this one is protected route, let's wrap it with what protected route. So now let's see how it looks like. There you go. So we have a text here, so the content, it is goes here. We're going to look through the content and display it here. Okay, cool. So next step is that, let's go ahead and create our action for fetching. So let's go to Redux. Let me close this one. Redux, slices and expenses slices. There we go. And lucky for us, we have already created one action for that. And before you create an action, you need to pass in what? A token. The same thing applies to the fetching. If because it's a protected route, you need to pass in what? Uh, a token. So I think this action meets our need. So let's copy this action. And the only difference here is change the action type and then the API. And that is it. So let's call this one fetch all fetch all action and the name here is not create but let's name it fetch all expense or expense action <coughs> fetch all expense yeah the name is up to you and the here is no create but what fetch oh okay fetch is okay and here remember the api accept a payload and the payload is what a page number right so you have to provide so when you are fetching the calling this action you need to pass in the the page number so we are receiving it here as payload right and then you need to get a token from the store and pass it as authorization. And then the base URL is not post, but instead get. And it's expenses, and then question mark page, right? So page provide a page number. That's how the API is implemented. And you provide the payload. Okay, so when you call this action, pass in the page number and that is it you're good to go all right so the next thing is that let's handle the the slices right so the same thing we can copy this one the way we handle the creating pending fulfilled and reject so we can copy the whole of this ones and then in here let's paste it here and check okay, wrong copy so you start from where? You start from here, sorry. You start from here and end 
at here i believe let's paste it there we go and let's change this one to fetch all expenses Pura. so the action the difference here going to be the action type and the value you want to add and that is all have you seen how pretty redux toolkit is so here in, instead of create let me do the multi select select all and then so i selected or i highlighted one of these and press command d d d sorry over selecting <laughs> so here highlight one command d on mac for windows i don't know i think it's control d or whatever i'm not that sure about that so let's call the fetch all action and that is all we are handling the pending state for few states and rejected so here loading remains the same but here is what we need to do because here we want to add additional property called expenses list okay and that is it we are done with it cool we want to handle the error here so the last thing is that you need to call this action so let's go to where can we call the action inside the expenses list component right so here let's recall or import the action and it's here you see auto import is working let me move this one okay and i need use dispatch to dispatch the sorry for the noise so use dispatch here use dispatch Oh, it didn't work so let's do it manually so we import from react redux i need for now i need use dispatch i need use selector for displaying the loading and other stuff in case use selector okay and i need use effect from react for dispatching the action so in here dispatch and then let's create an instance of dispatch use dispatch okay until this point i believe we are okay with the flow and let's call use effect we are going to call our action inside the use effect okay and we call it like this and pass in a callback function the second argument is going to be the dependencies it's going to depend on for this component to re-render and now for now it depends on dispatch so here let's call dispatch and then pass in our fetch expenses fetch all expense action and remember if you hover your mouse on the action let me see um the payload it has set here a number right so let's provide a number page number one for now uh this one fetch all action yes 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 okay so if you put if you hover your mouse on that you see that it gives you that it accepts a payload called any so that's a number so with this being in place let's check out let's render the components let me move this one here so you can see it better okay so let's refresh it and now let's see hmm rejected so let's look at where the error is coming from type error cannot distract use in operator to set for validate status okay so let's check again why we are receiving that error so the problem might be our action so let's go to the action again and we have a payload all right so let's provide a number here for now a number here and let's refresh it and let's see rejected error so why this error so why this error let's try again and check our state oh up error there is no token attached to the header it means that we are not logging but we have already logging here so let's look at our action fetch all all right fetch all 
Oh, the problem is from the API code. All right, sorry, let's provide the. All right, the problem is from the API code because for Axios, for get function, we need to pass in two things. We don't need to pass in a payload here, right? We don't need to pass in a payload here. It takes two, and a payload must be here, right? So that you able to know they are passing in the config with a token. So with this, let's go to expenses and then let's pass in, let's say, page number one. All right, so let's check it out. Refresh it. And there we go. Fetch all. We have it. Fetch all. And put expenses, expenses list, and at docs, we have our expenses. So now that we have the expenses here, let's go ahead and then loop through, grab this from the store, and then loop through. So right now, the it will like this uh, in our store expenses dot expenses list and then we have this so let's quickly get that so get all expenses from store and we're going to use use selector let me call this one all expenses is equal to use selector you can guess use selector we're gonna select a piece of state from our store that we need and here we pass in one variable state that holds all our states and i need only the expenses all right expenses so here i want to destructure the expenses right so equal to all expenses and in here i can destructure loading the up error if there is one server error and expenses list is expenses list so if you console log all these ones let's console log to make sure that we are on track so let's copy the whole loading and expenses it is one state like that because all these ones are on the reducer or the slice check it out for the slices you see that we have all of them loading expenses list up error and server error. that's where your destruction from this right so with this being in place let's check our console to make sure that everything is working there we go so on the on, on start loading force on define we get an object and loading was true here and finally we got the last one called loading force up error server error and objects so now if we try let's go back to expenses list and trigger some error all right so let's refuse to pass in the token okay and i want to receive error on that so this time around let's check what we have on the state there we go you see that here is it loading force but there is error on the up there is error on the up error and there's no data okay so now we are getting everything into our component so what should i do we need to loop through all this but remember on expenses place there's a property called docs so expenses so let me refresh again to fetch so we have expenses here expenses expenses list we have docs so here we're going to um go down one step to loop through this so where can we loop through that's where we have the expenses list components here so it is a table right in a table we can display everything so display content here you see that the table structure we have the header title and the content here so here let's loop through first of all we are going to check all the states so if it's loading right for now we are going to provide we are going to create a loading component but for now let's just add this dummy text loading if it's loading then display loading right otherwise if there is an app error or server error server error right if there is one let's display a div and then add the error for now let's add some dummy text here okay so if there is no error and expenses list expenses list dot docs if the length if the length is less than or equal to zero you can guess 
it means that there is no let me say no expense no expense found otherwise there is what expense then we can look through right so expenses dot docs where we have all the then we can map through this right and inside we have individual expenses and then i can quickly return some gsx okay return some gsx and here for now let's add a div and let's display h1 and say expense expense dot title okay let's save it and let's see what we have there we go now we have the title everything but we want to give these details of a uh, expenses to a separate component to render remember that the structure of the table that we need a table body the row and columns the rows right so we have another component that's going to help us to display the individual ones so the component is here under template and component we have what is called content details because this component is going to be used both for the for the expenses and income that is why i made as a component so let's copy that and then come to the component here and paste it and this component just a table rows right d and then display that so for now let's remove this one here let me start from scratch okay all right so let's go to expenses list and require that component call this one content details component cool so instead of returning this h1 here where we are looking through here let's remove this and then let's quickly return our content details and then we pass the expense into a variable called item like that and let's provide a key otherwise react will yield on us and expense dot underscore id okay so now we have the item here inside the content details component where is it here here so if you destructure the item right here and you consider the item here we see that we have all the items being populated into this component so let's check the console and you can see we have the individual item so we are going to look through sorry display this one inside that and remember we have a user <coughs> first name and last name right so here i have commented something out here that's why i'm displaying that so let's uncomment them back so item dot user dot first name and last name and let's uncomment everything here so <coughs> the title description amount and credit act for now there is no util function to format our data so let's remove that and remove that okay and on click we come back to that so let's save it and now let me remove this and let me refresh the application and there we go see we have the data not being formatted yet so in this video we're going to work on the update when you click on this one we're going to render a button to update this component this particular income then we work on the pagination